so good morning guys uh, it's currently 10 18 am i'm currently shooting this video from belgrade in serbia um actually i came for a conference here and i felt i need to make this video to you guys my wonderful subscribers and people who are contributing to my channel and um, please if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel please kindly do so and those of you who have subscribed to my channel thank you so much for that also please keep your questions coming i always try to respond to every questions asked in my channel either on the comment section or those who contact me through my instagram handle so once again my name is noel and you are welcome to my youtube channel so today i want to share with you how you can succeed in europe as a foreign student what do you need to do to succeed in europe and i'm gonna give you some highlights some points that will help you to shape your mind so that when you are here, or if you're already here, you will have a strategy what to do to make sure you stay within the law to fulfill your goals and aspiration. The first thing is the choice of country to go. A lot of people travel from their countries of origin, from Africa, wherever they're coming from, into Europe, without having a particular plan of what they want to do in the country they want to migrate to. And that starts from you having an understanding about what you want. And that will propel you to make the right choice of country you want to go. So as a potential foreign student who is currently nursing that idea to travel to Europe, please do your research properly. Traveling abroad is not something you do by knee-jerk reaction because your friends are doing or because people are talking about it and you just jump into the bandwagon effect. It does not work that way because everybody's situations and circumstances and desires differs. So you have to do your proper groundwork to know about the country you want to go for your study. If there are laws and opportunities is in line with your vision very important. Make good use of that time at the, at the basic level to choose the right country. Second point is that you have to understand the immigration laws of the country you want to move into. A lot of people often hand everything to the hands of agents and they don't know what is going on. You don't even know about the immigration policies of the country you want to move into how the visa works, how the long-term residency works. You don't know nothing about the country. And how do you intend to stay there successfully if you cannot do a proper research about the, 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 the conditions of residency in that country? Whether that will be something you are looking towards to or not. Please, second point, do your research properly. Understand immigration laws of the country and see how you can be able to live within that law before you make your decisions. The third point is that if you are not in that country, be very careful how you renew your visas and resident permit, okay? Always make sure you do this on time. Please don't wait to the last minute. You have to make sure immigration data and documents are properly managed and organized. Make sure you do the right thing. Renew your visa on time, start ahead of time, get your documentations. Don't ever stay there and your visa run out. You'll be in trouble because they'll ask you to go back to your country of origin to apply again and you know how difficult that can be. So pay attention to your migration documents and make sure you continuously renew your papers on time without any problem. Number fourth point, have the right set of network of people in that country. But the fact that someone is from your country of origin does not necessarily mean that they have to be your friends. You choose your friends. People that have the understanding that will guide you to make the right decisions in that country. 
doesn't matter where they come from. It doesn't matter their race, religion, background. It doesn't matter. What matters is that these people are genuine. They will provide the right information that will help you to make an informed decision. Please make sure you have the right network. Don't make the mistake of being the wrong people. They will put you into trouble. And when the trouble comes, you are the one that's going to bear it yourself. So make the right friends, be in the right network. Number five, the fifth point is that if you are in a country, please be part of that society. You are not just there to exploit the environment because it's uh, beautiful and things are working, the systems are working. Then you don't contribute to society. That's not how it works. Be part of that society. Social inclusion. Contribute in any way you can. Voluntary works you can do. You, came, you are coming there to study. But at the same time, you also have to contribute to that society in any way you can. You have to be relevant to the society you find yourself. They gave you such enormous opportunity to exploit what you needed to succeed in your education, in your job prospect. Why can't you contribute also to that society? Make yourself uh, important to that society by using your skills, talent to invest again back to that society that gave you such opportunity to thrive. Voluntary work is important. I tell you, when I was living in London, um, during my, when I was studying in London, in 2012, the London Olympic happened. I mean, London hosted the Olympic 2012. And I was part of the volunteers called London Ambassadors that time. And I was stationed to work at Heathrow Airport Terminal 4, whereby I would welcome all the whole guests from all different parts of the world, you know, give them direction how to find the train stations, how to find their location, their destination, their hotel. I think I was there like five days shift, and it was one of the best experiences I ever had. You know, then in UK, meeting people around the world. And I was part of that community of London ambassadors that helped to shape the face of that Olympic 2012. And it was a groundbreaking success, one of the best ever hosted globally. And to cap it all, the Prime Minister then, I think it was uh, David Cameron was Prime Minister then, he gave all the volunteers a letter of appreciation. I still have it documented. Signed by him down the street. It's in, my, it's in my document. I have that as part of my contribution towards uh, that Olympic. And of course, the current Prime Minister, uh, uh, Boris Johnson, was the uh, London mayor that time. Okay, he also gave all the volunteers a letter of appreciation as well. So I have two letters from both those prominent men in the UK because I volunteered. It's not because I want that letter, but because I want to invest back to society that gave me such opportunity to live in the UK, study there, and thrive there. So voluntary work, the power of the society you find yourself, very, very important. Number six, or six point, keep records of all your immigration history. From the time you left your country of origin, wherever it is in Africa, wherever, your false visa, your flight details, and even when you find yourself in the country in Europe or anywhere in the world you are residing for your study, Always keep files of all your previous visas, previous history, travel information. I have my files, everything, now, everything, all my previous documents are in one file. They are well organized. You need to have your previous migration history intact because in the future, you might want to settle in that country for long time residency. You have to provide all this information. If you don't have those data, you struggle to keep those records straight. So please, always keep your immigration history. Every copies of your previous visa, resident permit, whatever, please have a copy in your file and document them accordingly. Seven, if you're in a country that does not speak English, for example, if you're in Czech Republic or in Luxembourg, in Luxembourg speak mostly French, Czech Republic uh, speaks their Czech language, Try to learn the language of that particular country. It's important for two reasons. Number one, for social inclusion and proper communication. It makes you to integrate much better in society. Second point, at some point, maybe you have stayed here for so long and you want to apply for permanent residency or long-term residency, you might need to do a language course uh, certification. 
and then you have to prove that you can speak the language to make that application. So if you have already been learning from the beginning, it will be easy for you to pass language test exams. And these are part of the things that help you to apply for that particular you know, residency permit or whatever. So learn the language. It's very important of the country you find yourself. It helps you to integrate better. And of course, at some point, you might need that to apply for long-term residency as the case may be. Number eight, always have plans B. You know, have other plans just in case. Be strategic, uh, be proactive, and make sure you don't find yourself in a box whereby your chances or choices are limited. Always be proactive and have other plans. But make sure they are genuine plans that are within the law. You must not break the law. And finally, and most importantly, obey the laws and the rules of the country you find yourself. It is not a right that you have to be in that country. It is not your country of origin or country of birth. You are just as an immigrant. So you must, as a matter of obligation, obey the law of the land. That is it. The, the least you can do. You must live within the law. Okay? Avoid any form of criminality whatsoever. I have to emphasize this again. Don't listen to people who tell you rubbish, whatever, you know. You must obey the law. There's no shortcut to success. The system there, the system here in Europe has given you the opportunity to thrive, to study, face your study. That's why you are there. If you are a foreign student, your primary responsibility of being in that country is to study. You are only allowed to work as a part, on a part-time basis. So don't come there, don't come to Europe and change the reason why you're there. Be contented with what you have. Face your study because that study will help you to even get a bigger job in the future and even settle better. So make sure you are not losing focus of why you are here or why you're in Europe, okay? Or anywhere in the world, that's not your country of origin. Avoid any form of criminality. Make sure you obey immigration rules. Don't involve in crime. Live peacefully uh, within the society. Don't look for trouble. Study. Do your part-time work if the law allows that wherever you find yourself. And then pursue your goals. Because I tell you, if you have any criminal record in Europe, you will be in serious trouble. You find it so difficult to get a job anywhere else. So you must protect your integrity. You must protect your record. Seriously. Because your future lies in that. So I believe this simple point will help you to have an idea of what you need to do for you to succeed in Europe as a foreign student or even anybody else that lives in Europe. Please, always be conscious of these facts. I know some of you already know this, but again, is to emphasize the need for you to uh, you know, understand this point so that you can be able to live in Europe and succeed accordingly. Remember, I'll leave you with this. In everything that you do, always give it a human face. Please, stay positive, avoid crime, be respectful, be law-abiding, stick to your goals, remain focused. You have the power to change the course of your destiny. It's in you. If you believe you can, then you can. Again, in everything that you do, always give it a human face. I am the human investor. Thank you so much. Please, guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Share this video with your friends and family members. Drop your questions. I like to attend to questions. I like to reply to questions asked because people learn from that. Please, I always try my best to respond to every question as much as I can and as fast as I can. Once again, thank you for being with me. I am on a journey. Please be with me on this journey. Thank you. Bye-bye.